This is Danny Panzella reporting from Wall Street with this special report for TruthSquad.tv. The New York City Police Department has locked down Wall Street in anticipation of the Occupy Wall Street protests in Lower Manhattan. There seems to be no organized structure, and, it's, and some attendees refer to the group as a leaderless resistance to corporate greed and monopoly. Occupy Wall Street! Occupy Wall Street! Occupy Wall Street! Will we make this stand so popular, like, I will really, occupy Wall Street! Like, That's right, we've got sleeping bags, we've got tents donated by Lupe Fiasco! The protest was largely organized using social networking sites like Facebook and Twitter. While police presence is heavy, the NYPD is light on artillery. There are no cops in riot gear or LRAD crowd control weapons visible on the streets of the financial district. The private Federal Reserve Bank of New York has also closed its two-story steel castle doors in preparation to keep out the barbarians at the gates. While for the most part, the protesters seem to be leftists, communists, and socialists calling for an end to capitalism, there's also a contingent of libertarians, anarcho-capitalists, and volunteerists calling for an end to corporate fascism and crony capitalism. We got some capitalists here, I can see that. We have some socialists as well. I've noticed that the people here come from so many different backgrounds. Uh, I'm a Trotskyist, I see how communist. I consider myself an anti-consumerist libertarian. Well, I'm an anarcho-capitalist, well. Oh, above all else, I'm a volunteer. I'm a Christian. I believe in limited government. I believe in the Constitution. We recognize that there is a problem, and that is corporate influence in American policymaking. That our government don't, doesn't, isn't owned by us anymore. Where we differ is the approaches on how to resolve that issue. Well, we pretty much believe in a free market, but uh, people should choose where to live and how they live. I'm against the system. I'm against capitalism. The main issue is corporate capitalism. Uh, it looks like people either want to bring it down and restructure it or bring it down altogether. The only solution really is to bring us back to the Constitution. It's I don't think that any person who wants to overturn the system should be turned away. Anyone who believes in the revolution should be part of it. And honestly all I see is just people that just want to change. In the days leading up to the protest, the FBI distributed a memo to Wall Street businesses warning that the hacktivist group Anonymous would be in attendance and had threatened to shut down Wall Street networks and that their businesses should take precautions to secure their clients' data. Undercover law enforcement peppered the crowd dressed as the infamous Black Bloc Communist Group and some wore Guy Fox masks, the trademark of Anonymous. They walked the crowd observing and taking photos of activists cataloging the groups that were in attendance. The undercovers are easily identifiable by their baggy clothes that conceal ankle holsters, their military issue boots, and their body language also exposes them as they are clearly uncomfortable in their environment. The black bloc is infamous for provocateur violence at these type of rallies, and law enforcement has repeatedly been exposed posing as the black bloc to incite violence to justify police crackdowns on protest activities. This was the case at the G20 summit protests in Toronto, Canada last spring. No violence has been reported thus far, but we will keep our eye on that situation. Saturday evening, marching activists were halted by an NYPD barricade at the intersection of Wall Street and William Street in front of Cipriani. In what looked like a scene that might have taken place right before the fall of the Roman Empire, attendees of a private party stood on the Greek Revival Terrace and sipped champagne while scoffing at the angry protesters who chanted from below. There was a short sit-in in front of Cipriani, but when threatened with arrest, the contingent quickly marched back towards Zuccotti Park across from 140 Broadway, where the attendees spent the rest of the night singing songs and debating economic and political philosophy. Jimmy, the rent is too damn high McMillan, was also in attendance late Saturday night, expressing his disdain that he wasn't invited to speak. He urged protesters to go home and that their parents' sit-ins in the decades prior accomplished nothing. In an odd and awkward moment, when a protester asked who McMillan was, he proclaimed, He asked me! He said, by the way, who are you? I said, I'm Ron Paul. <laughs> Ron Paul with a suntan. CNN recently reported Mayor Bloomberg as saying, The public knows something is wrong with this country, and the bottom line is they are upset. He went on to warn that high unemployment and the implementation of austerity measures such as higher taxes, increased commuter tolls, and rising food costs might spark riots like those in Cairo and Madrid. While these activists are certainly angry about the socio-political and economic state of the United States, 
there has been no violence reported so far. We hope the peaceful demonstration remains so. Due to the nature of the protest and the involvement of social media in the organizational process, a violent riot would give the Obama administration the pretext it needs to push through its cybersecurity agenda and internet kill switch, effectively ending free speech on the web. It remains to be seen if the Occupy Wall Street protest will accomplish its goal. This weekend, Wall Street remains closed. What will happen Monday morning is anyone's guess. Reporting from Manhattan's Financial District, I'm Danny Panzella for TruthSquad.tv.